Hey guys, it's Will from Potato Strong. I wanted to announce that I'm, I just launched a new ebook called The Starch Plus Diet. I'm really excited about it. How to lose weight and get healthy eating your favorite comfort foods. As many of you know, almost three years ago, I started a starch-based diet, thanks to Dr. John McDougall. And over the past few years, I've been really helping people with uh, losing weight and reducing or eliminating medications from you know heart disease and type 2 diabetes. And uh, I provided lots of free recipes and a recipe guide. And the reason I call it Starch Plus is because I, I, I'm adding all my advice and uh, experience and my tips, my best tips, so that you can be successful. And also, I provide some ways that you can enhance uh, and you know take things up a notch above the the typical starch-based diet. Like Dr. McDougall limits fruit, and that's that'll work great for most people. But a lot of people like to eat fruit, and I've had you know sometimes I have breakfast, I might have more fruit for breakfast, and it hasn't had any impact. It's a, it's a fruit's really healthy. And so I don't really, you know, if, if people want to eat more fruit than, um, than is allowed on the starch solution, you know, I think that's fine. And, and a lot of people won't want to. And, and some people have issues with, with fruit and they would want to, uh, you know, stick to the starch solution. But, but I'm adding a lot of, uh, you know, tips and everything. And then I've got the, my weight loss journey and, and cholesterol. I'll walk you through some of the stuff that's in here. Um, this is this table of contents. So I've got, you know, I show pictures of my when I grew up, so people might be interested in that. Some of my background uh, when I went vegetarian, and then when I got on Netflix and saw, you know, forks over knives, some of these documentaries. I've got a graph for like a year when I plotted my weight loss, and I talk about the ups and downs during that period of time. So that I tracked my weight and uh, blood tests. I had a couple of cholesterol tests prior to going start uh, starch based, and I. You know, my cholesterol at one point, the LDL couldn't be calculated because the triglycerides were so high. And then I, when I went starch-based, I dropped it down to uh, 112 milligrams per deciliter. And then how, how the whole birth potato strong started, the birth of it, as far as Facebook and YouTube and how that all started, some of the backstory. Starch plus diet kind of describe what it is and why it works. And then how to do this. Like this part two is the real meat and potatoes, so to speak. Um, how to do it, you know, and there's a lot of detail in here about getting started, removing stuff from your house, stocking your kitchen, various kitchen gadgets, cooking without oil, and and some of the problems that people have experienced that I've been helping people with hunger, portion sizes, snacking, calories, calorie density, being consistent, which is really important, having patience, and then one of the common issues is people hit plateaus and uh, they they get discouraged, and I talk about how to deal with plateaus. Keeping it simple, which is one of my main philosophies. If you look at my recipes, I uh, I like simple, and that just makes it easy. And uh, restaurants, you know, there's challenges when you buy when you eat in restaurants. Social gatherings, if you have a partner and they they may or may not be supportive. Traveling, like if you're in hotels and and on pl flights and stuff like that, can be a challenge. And I might encourage you to you know keep learning over your period of time, so you know, keep adding to your knowledge. And uh, that'll strengthen your ability to keep to stick with this. I talk about exercise. I talk about fruit. I give a sample meal plan for like a week. So this is like a variety of meals that you could you could eat. Uh, very simple. Talk a little bit about vitamin B12 and D because those are kind of the one of the you know the most important um, things that would have to be potentially added, like supplemented. Another common issue: bloating and gas. So, so many people have issues when they switch to this diet uh, with all the fiber and vegetables. Um, and then I, this is kind of what, partly why the, the um, I call it starch plus is because I know there's some making tweaks here. There's some, you know, starch based is great. There's some things that, like I said, the fruit, there's some other things for athletes, um, you know, st stuff that people might want to tweak uh, within the starch based uh, approach. I've got the seven habits of highly ineffective dieting. So this is kind of a summary of uh, some of the key points that, you know, people will have troubles with and why they they have troubles dieting and sticking to it. And when I call this a diet, it's really, if you look up the definition of diet, it means a way of eating is one of the definitions. It's not necessarily a short-term diet. That's another uh, definition. But uh, the human diet or the, whatever you want to call it, plant-based diet, is is a lifestyle. It's a long-term thing. That's how I I, um, I called it diet. And, um, and then I've got a conclusion. And then I put some recipes in here. And then I've got a section... Uh, of references, which are a lot of the background and explanation for. Um, I, if you look here, 
you can see pictures of me growing up that might be of interest to people that kind of know me, some of my weight issues, um, the Netflix thing. I talked about my weight loss ups and downs and kind of what happened there. I've, I tracked my body fat as well. And then I've got some blood tests where, you know, you can see that the blood, the uh, LDL couldn't be calculated. And then I did, I went starch based and I got really amazing results before and afters. Talk about the starch based diet, sort of a highlight here, what's involved in that. Some after pictures. Um, then I go through, this is the meat, like I say, the details, what you're going to be eating, what you're going to be getting rid of, stuff to put in the kitchen, all sorts of stuff that can help you stock your kitchen. Um, I show pictures of meals at various points to keep you, you know, motivated and interested. Kitchen gadgets, um, everything I mentioned earlier, hunger calories. I've got the calorie density that's really important is different types of foods and how to deal, how to, a better way to think about uh, eating instead of calories is to look at calorie density. Plateaus, that's a really important thing. And all the stuff I mentioned with restaurants and um, partners and traveling. and So yeah, um, this is a meal plan here. So this is, this is it. I'm really happy. And when you, when you get this guide, and I hope you will, I'll put a link in the description below and, as, and also in the video. Uh, when you get this guy, the, uh, this book, you're going to get all future updates. So if I add sections or I update anything, uh, I'll send out a notice and you'll get updates. This is the same thing that I did for my recipe guide. My, all my recipes are on my website. And every time I add a new recipe, I update the book every so often and send out an email so that, you know, you make your, your initial investment, but uh, you're going to be getting this uh, new future updates as I add things to it and just decide that I want to enhance something or add a section because based on questions that I get. So I'm really excited about this. And um, today's Friday for the next few days over this weekend, I'm offering uh, $5 off this book. And I'm also offering, there's a bundle. If you don't have the recipe guide, you can get this starch plus diet plus my potato strong recipe guide together in a bundle. And like I say, I'll put the links there below. So I hope you guys will check this out. And, you know, if you want to help me out, you could also um, share this video and, um, and just get the word out. We want to get everybody, you know, getting healthy and off their, all those medications and all the issues that uh, a lot of our standard diets are really causing. And, um, the food is amazing. It's all comfort foods, mashed potatoes, baked fries, tacos and burritos, pizza, pancakes, waffles, salads, and, and it's just amazing. So there you go. I'm really excited about this. Hope you guys will check this out, and we'll talk to you in the next video, guys. See you later.